Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. Today, the fly I'm going to tie is we'll call it a three way buzzer nymph. A uh, very, very versatile fly. Uh, it can be used different ways. It can be fished pulling, um, either on their own or in a team. It can be fished on the washing line, uh, on the droppers. Um, it can also be fished static as well. Particularly good when um, buzzers are hatching, obviously. Um, but it's got the advantage of having the tail. Um, that's what gives it the attraction when you pull it and it fishes more like a nymph. So we'll uh, we'll get tying. The hook I'm going to use um, is a size 10 wet hook. You can tie them down um, to small as you like, 16s if you wish. Um, fish really well in all the sizes. So the thread I'm going to use is black UTC 70. So we'll Catch it on behind the eye. Work my way down to where the, the barb would be. Now we'll put a tail in it. Small black tail. Now what I'm going to use for this is a black paint brush. So I'm going to take a few fibers, maybe about five. I want it fairly fine, so about the length of the shank. Tie in. Work my way back up. Out here. What we'll do, we'll chop that off. Tie it down. Now just where the thorax is going to be, we're going to put some red holographic tinsel. Just to medium size we'll just tie it in now we'll do a few turns of this not not so many it's just for to make a a hot spot behind the thorax We'll tie that off. Snip it off. Just change the angle of the hook slightly. Now what we're going to put in for the cheeks is um, are you, you can use either um, goose bites, white goose bites, or you can use, um, if you wish, if you've got plenty of it, you can use jungle cock, which is makes brilliant, uh, brilliant cheeks. But obviously for people who haven't got that, I use the Fritz and Flies cheek material. You can get in all different colours, orange, red, green. I'm going to use the white one. Um, they're 0 0.6 millimetres. Um, and you just peel them off. They're sticky on one side and um, flat on the other. So you can actually stretch them as well if you want them thinner. So we'll, you tie them in like you would a 
goes by it, but you have the sticky side on the outside. So we'll tie that in one side, and then we'll turn the vise a bit so you can see what we're doing. Tie it in on the other side. So we'll keep these down over to stop anything slipping. I'll just put it. Hitch in there. What we can do, half hitch in there to hold it. A little straight bit of thread. And with these, you can pull them, hold the fly, wiggle them around, and pull them at the same time. Snap it off. Same with this one. Snap it off and then we can just finish the head. Snap that off. Now you can, depending on what you prefer, you can um, you can either varnish it or put UV on. Um, I tend to put UV on. So we'll start with the head. And just round the fly over the cheeks. The shape, the little grey hair there. You can see the cheeks stand out they're nice and white. So we'll hit that with the light. Harden it off. That nice neck stands out as well, like a hot neck, plain body, hot neck, and then the white cheeks when you're moving that in the water, it's great attractor. You see, it can be fished many ways pulled, twiddled, or static. So, there you have it. Three way buzzer nymph. Um, tie some up you'll catch plenty of fish on them um, if you like it please hit the like button and uh, check the other flies on my youtube channel and subscribe please thank you cheers